All right, uh, section 6.2, this is building on what we just, the last example of last section, determining if two polygons are similar. So if two, poly, if two objects are similar, they have corresponding angles that are equal, and all the sides have been multiplied by the same amount, the amount is called the scale factor. So we looked last time how to find the scale factor, and remember that with that final example, because all the scale factors were different, or one of them was different, we found that they were in fact not similar. So now we're going to do the exact same thing to check to see if they're similar. So for example, what is the scale factor if object A is reduced down to object B? And remember, it's a good idea to start with your second object. So here I have A to B. It's been shrunk. So I'm going to start with a value that's over here, like 4. So I have 4 divided by 16. Remember, I just divide the two values starting with the second object. So 4 divided by 16. You might know this right away. 4 divided by 16 is 0.25, but that actually reduces down to 1 quarter as well, which is equal to 0 0.25. So, but, so it's been divided by 4, or multiplied by a quarter, which is 0 0.25. Let's just double check to make sure that's exactly right. So 20 to 5. 20 divided by 5. Did I do that right? No. I put the 20 first. I should have put the 5 first because that's the second object. 5 over 20. Look, I make mistakes too. So 5 over 20, you might know that there's these both divide by 5, which becomes 1 over 4. So that's the same. Let's look at the next ones. I have a 12 and I have a 3. Start with the 3. So 3 divided by 12. I can divide both by 3 to reduce this. It becomes 1 quarter. Good, so those are all the same. So it's been reduced by a factor of one quarter. All the same, that's my scale factor. Notice it's a fraction because it's getting smaller. Next example, are the two rectangles similar? Hmm, are they similar? How many, oh right, okay. So, oh no, these have been orientated differently, right? Because I have these two ticks on the top. On this one, they're on the side. So it might be a good idea to reorientate this one. We'll draw it over here so that it's more similar to this one over here. So I'm going to put the single tick on the bottom, just like this one, and the double ticks on the side. The single tick corresponds to 6 centimeters, good, and the double tick corresponds to 10 centimeters. You don't have to do this, but it is helpful um, to see. So are the two rectangles similar? Now this is my second one. This is my first one, right? So it's been, been shrunk. So I'm going to start with the second one, which is 3, which is like the value 6 over here. So I have 3 divided by 6. I know it's on the bottom this time, but because the top and bottom both have those single ticks, the top, top would be 6 centimeters as well. 3 over 6 reduces down to 1 over 2, which is just 0 0.5. Okay, so we've checked that one. Now we have to check which one now. The 5, right. And it's similar to the 10 over here. So I have 5. Remember, I start with the smaller one over 10, which reduces down to 1 over 2, or 0 0.5. So here's my scale factor. My scale factor this time is 0 0.5, or a half. And I would say yes. They are similar. And how do I know? How do I know that they're similar? Because my scale factors are the same. Right. Good. Okay. It says, what is the scale factor if you reduce one down to the larger rectangle into the smaller one? So what is the scale factor if you reduce down the larger rectangle into the smaller one? We found that. That was 0 0.5. Right? or one half. So it's been reduced and I figured out that the reducing was by 0 0.5 or a half. Last example. One triangle has side lengths that measure 3, 8, and 10 centimeters. Another triangle has side lengths of 7.2, 24, and 19.2. Are the triangles similar? You're not given a picture this time. So what you have to do is you have to look for the values to see okay, which one's the biggest, which one's the middle, and which one's the smallest. So let's look here first. 3, 8, and 10. Okay, well I have a 3 
That's the smallest. Which one is the smallest between 7.2, sorry, that's a comma, 7.2, 24, and 19.2? Which one's the smallest? Right, the first one. So I have 7.2. So let's see, we're trying to figure out, are they similar? So are the scale factors, whoops, are the scale factors the same, right? So check the scale factors. Does it matter which one I divide by? Not really, because I'm not really I'm not testing to see what it's been enlarged by or what it's been shrunk by. So let's just take the set. Let's just stick with our usual plan. We'll take the second one and divide by the first one. So it's 7.2 divided by 3. 7.2 divided by 3, which is 2.4. That's my scale factor. Okay, let's test another one. So the next one is between 8 and 10. Let's do 8 because it's the next biggest one. It's the middle one. What's the middle one between 24 and 19.2? Which one's like 8? Probably the 19.2, right, because it's smaller. Then we'll do the biggest ones last. So again, we'll take 19.2 divided by my 8. Let's see if they're similar here. 19.2 divided by 8. Oh, 2.4, okay. So, so far it's looking pretty good. We have one last one to check though, because we're not entirely sure. I have 24 and 10. Which one goes first? Right, the 24. So 24 divided by 10. I can see right away what this is gonna be. 24 divided by 10 is equal to 2.4. How did I know what it was gonna be? Because whenever you divide by 10, if whatever, or a hundred or a thousand, you look how many zeros there are, and you take the decimal place and you move it back that many zeros if you're dividing. You move it back that many zeros if you're dividing. So there's one zero, the decimal place is usually at the end, I move it one, so 2.4. Are the triangles similar? Yes, they are similar. And I'm done. So check your scale factors. If they're all the same, then your two objects are similar.